Hello, hello, this is Josh from Painting by Josh. I'm here, I've just recently started a new exterior job. What I've done here, I've gave it a big high pressure clean yesterday, but I've got to do colours. So, we've been going through talking colours with the client. We've gone through, chosen a few that we want to um, put up samples of. So what I like to do, I always like to make sure my customer and clients are always 100% happy with the colours that they do choose. So hey, if I have to um, spend a day talking over colours, going through, putting um, different shades on, on the walls, hey, I'm happy to do that. So what we've got going on here at the moment, we've got, we've got eight colours. So there's a few different um, sh different shades and everything like that, different tones that we want to see uh, exactly what it's looking like. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a couple of different samples. The best way to do it is always, obviously we've got the white suffetes already, so we're not going to have to worry about that because what we want to do is we want to um, bring the suffetes to um, white anyway. So we won't be doing anything with them at the moment. The walls... I'll, I'll, I'll pretty much be doing a section per section. So I want to do a, a colour on here, then a colour on the post, um, a different colour on this section and a post, uh, then obviously a different colour on this section and the post also. So that way, when the client comes out, have a clear indication exactly what it's going to look like, uh, and then there's going to be no hicc hiccups down the track, because the last thing we want um, is for clients to agree on a colour and then we start painting the whole house and actually they're not really happy because they didn't get that the visual look at it with what it's going to look like. It's easy for painters to um, picture what it's going to look like because we've been doing it for so long. But for um, DIYs, new clients, anything like that, it's always best to give them the opportunity to see exactly what it's going to look like and that way there's going to be no dramas ever down the track with when they decide to put on what colour they want to choose. So each colour pretty much, I'm just going to pour in here, just a nook and cranny roller, pretty much the best for it. You just, you know, obviously get out your colour, put it on, wash it out quickly, get out the new one. So definitely for samples, I like to use the nook and cranny roller and it gets the job done nice and fast. So that's pretty much it. I'll um, start throwing some on, I'll show you what it looks like um, after I put up a couple. So as you can see what I have done, I've gone through and I've put a couple of different colour samples on for the clients just so they get a clear indication um, and visual idea of exactly what what they um, are after and what they want. So you know, I've just done this one here, obviously you've got your different, this is your half strength to your full strength and you've got your double strength to your, to your normal strength and then I've done... Uh, a different color just up there with a different background just so we've got a couple of clear indications of what it's going to look like and then that way we can we can go from there so as it is at the moment the very happy with the the color of the wall so we're going to be going with the uh, dulux tranquil retreat this one was your double strength but then what we're going to do i'm going to go back to the paint shop and we're going to get a couple more sample pots because we want to we want to get the exact colour right for, for the post. I think this is a bit too dark. You know, we want to highlight the post, but we don't want them to stick out too much. So I think that colour is a bit too dark. We're going to go a bit more of a, a neutral tone that's going to match in more with the wall colour. And it's going to match in more, obviously, with the tiles and the roofing and everything like that. So hey, it's always a process. It's never... Well, sometimes it can be very easy, but a lot of the time that, you know, we want to make sure we get the exact colours 100% and make sure it's all right before we go applying on any finished coats or anything. So that's pretty much the process, the way I'll go through. To get here, I like to uh, listen to the clients, listen to what they, what colours they prefer or what tones they are after and what visual look they, they are appealing for. And then I'll go through and I'll try to make as many suggestions that I can and make it um, as as easy as I can, and, yeah, make the process a, a bit more enjoyable for, for me and my clients. We get the right colours chosen, um, we get the jo job done. And then that way, the end, end result's just going to be always 100% fire. So, 
thank you very much everyone for always tuning in and watching the youtube uh follow us on instagram facebook and start now up to date with all our paint or die respect